In this episode, if you haven't guessed by the title, it's time to get down and dirty. Some of you for some time now may be wondering where I've been, what I've been up to, and there's been no update on the club move since the first week in January and before Christmas. However, what you will notice is we've had the installation of two wooden doors, which has took some time. We've extended a metre backwards on the makeshift garage and a metre forwards. And right now you can hear it's raining, but I'm just thankful that we're not getting soaking wet. So today's focus is going to be ripping the engine out of the minute. We've kind of got Sophie's camera girl and helping me to get it out. And the way we're going to do it is by unbolting the subframe and dropping it through the bottom and lifting the car off. So with all that said and done, and all the waffling, let's jump straight into it. Breaking out the tools, I begun the battle of loosening the bolts which had collated over 30 years of rust. However, I'm pretty sure the grinder will make an appearance soon. Lately, ah, there it is. Praise the Lord for power tools. With my forearms burning from the force required to crack the nuts, now now, easy dirty mind. This was certainly going to be a strategic procedure to remove the engine without the aid of a crane. So here goes. Your horse says it's too cold to read face expressions that mean nothing. Did your sadness in this world do you feel? Oh, right, so we've got the car up, the engine has dropped onto this, but now the issue I've got is I can't jack the car high enough. I'm going to quickly go and get some man power from next door for two of us to lift it and slide the engine out of our feet while Sophie's filming it, so bear with me. With the arrival of two strong men, well, um, I mean, my neighbour and his friend, we attempt to lift the car into a wheelie position. One word to describe what's just happened. Um, so yeah, basically the engine is out. We have got so much to do now. Um, I've got to take the steering rack out. I've got to strip all the bits off the engine. And then somehow I've got to find a way to neatly pack all this in here so we can continue working. The mini can go back another two foot, so that, that'll help us. But if I hadn't have extended this garage, there is no way we would have been able to tackle what we've got to tackle. And in all fact, I should actually be painting the garage doors and finishing the cladding off and doing all that, but I know I've not put a video on for so long, so that's why I'm currently stood here talking to you. So apart from that, we'll have a look around with what we're left with with the car, and you can make your own judgment on it, because the judgment I've made is it's a piece of shit. But um, yeah, let's have a look. Now the engine is removed, it's time to inspect the engine bay. And it is safe to say I'm quite surprised as I expected much, much worse. Yes, there's a few holes here and there, but it's nothing I can't weld up. Even though I've never welded before, um, that should be fun. Allowing you to watch my failed attempts at penetrating, I mean penetration. Now, enjoy the seamless cinematography whilst dropping us a comment in true TCR style. So you join me back in the studio and I've just got a few things that I need to talk about just to summarise this episode. The first thing is that the car is now on four axle stands. When we go back in the garage, we're going to begin by taking the rear subframe off and then stripping all the subframes down. And then we're going to make our first attempt at welding to make a rollover jig to spin the car upside down. Upside down, boy you turn me. The other thing that I want to mention is all my merchandise, like t-shirts, signs, all that sort of stuff has been done by one guy. And that guy is Chris Warman and his YouTube channel is Essex Mini, but he has got a website where he can make custom signs, custom anything, and it's etchit.co.uk. So go and check them out. Massive shout out to them. What he does is quality and it's competitive prices and it's just brilliant if you want to get something that is custom made. Secondly, how cool is that? Now this is something that got sent to me a long time ago and they sent it me in the return that I would shout this out. The company is called Heavy Right Foot. Now they sent me this in the post, God knows how they got my address but it turned up and uh, it's got my mini Reg on the t-shirt so I'll have a closer look at that. Mind that, sorry about the man boobs. 
but there you go pretty snazzy if you ask me so if you want to go and get one of those t-shirts hit them up heavy right foot on instagram facebook and i do believe we've got a website but all the links will be in the description below now i don't want people saying this episode's all about products plugging because it really isn't i've actually owed those people a shout out for a long time and with the way things have been with building the garage doing the mini launching the website launching the products i've just not had time speaking of products on the website we have recently launched these now these are a metal sign in A3 size, if you listen. We won't do an impression of that guy because I think he got found guilty of some catastrophic things, so we won't go there. But these are the talk setting signs. So basically, it's got my logo. These are limited edition. They won't be returning to the website in this style. There's 20 of these available. I think we've got 12 left. And they have got every single talk setting sign for the Mini on there. And handy to have up in your garage. It's made out of metal. It's robust. And the quality is just... Those are on sale. Grab yourself a bargain while they're currently discounted at 10% off. And other than that, what have we got to say? Oh, if you want that stuff, totalcarreviews.com. Um, the next episode won't be on the Clubman. It's either going to be on the Red Mini or the Alex's van, because we've got videos to come on that. The other thing is one episode that I will be releasing soon. I've got some very big news. I've been in meetups with a few people. You might have seen it on Instagram. So we've got some big news that we're going to be working on the project just to make things a bit better up north. And yeah, um, apart from that, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm sorry it's short and sweet. I have tried my best to get this out and I will promise there will be more frequent uploads coming from myself now that the garage is done. But with all that said, guys, do everything in style. See you later. <laughs>